Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Did you know that if you subscribe to the Kitchen Table Stamper newsletter, you get inspirational tutorials delivered to your email box pretty much every week? Back in um, the end of October, I believe, I sent a gift card holder card tutorial. So you got this tutorial oh, quite a while ago if you subscribed to my newsletter. But I thought I'd make a fun, uh, bright, kind of springtime version here with the lemon zest. And now if you see, this is a standard card size, fits in the medium envelope and holds a little gift card that slides back down into the pocket when you close the card. Isn't that great? All right, I'm gonna run you through how to put this card together, but first let's talk about the Stampin' Up! supplies that you need to make this card. Oh, and look at this since I've got it here. Here's a version opposite Fresh Florals and the Berry Burst with Lemon Lime Twist cardstock, and here's the Fresh Florals with the Lemon Lime Twist and the Berry Burst cardstock, and we're gonna make this version. Okay, so the Stampin' Up! supplies that you'll need to make this card include a couple of die sets here, the Bloomin' Heart Thinlets I used for this fun little flower embellishment, Stitch Shapes Framelets and Layering Squares Framelets. You're gonna use the largest stitched square inside the card and outside the card, you see? And then the coordinating scallop, sur or scallop square You'll cut that from Dapper Denim for the outside of the card. The stamp sets that I used for this, um, I've got my Lemon Zest and my Lemon Builder Punch. These are available in the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog, and you can bundle these products together and save $10 when you buy both. I'm also using my Swirly Bird stamp set for this fun spatter in the background. And I stamped the leaves with this polka dot pattern from Timeless Textures. I thought it gave it kind of a whimsical um, detail and it separates it from the other lemon lime twist elements of the card. I've got some finely woven ribbon. This is Berry Burst. And these gorgeous Stampin' Up! Glitter enamels for my embellishments. Stampin' Pads are Lemon Lime Twist. Daffodil Delight, Berry Burst, and Basic Black. All right, the consumables that you'll need for this are, okay, I've got Fresh Floral Designer Series paper here, two pieces, three and a quarter by four and one and three quarters by four. And don't worry about these measurements. If you um, go to kitchentablestamper.com, follow the link below the video if you're on YouTube. It'll take you to the post with the project sheet. Uh, I've got two stitched squares and lots of scraps for the lemons. You're gonna need a, almost a half a sheet of Whisper White cardstock for this project. Three and three quarters square of Dapper Denim, a scrap of Lemon Lime Twist for your leaves. And then I've got a piece of Berry Burst here. This is four and a quarter by 11. And the Lemon Lime Twist is three and three quarters by seven. All right, first I think we'll do our stamping. So let me get my um, Stampin' Pierce mat and some ink pads and we'll get started. Okay, I'm gonna start my stamping with the two stitch squares. I've got the Happy Birthday Sentiment that's from Lemon Zest. And we're gonna stamp that across the bottom of one of our Whisper White squares. And then I've got Squeeze It For All It's Worth. And we're gonna stamp that up high up center on our other stitched square. Now, I've got my Swirly Bird spatter here, and we're gonna take some Lemon Lime Twist and stamp each of these pieces with the spatter. I just kinda wanna make it look fun and festive. And then I'm gonna stamp off and wipe the ink we're going to switch now to Berry Burst. So we want to ink up with the Berry Burst and stamp off. And then just layer those Berry Burst spatters in with the Lemon Lime Twist for a fun kind of confetti look. Next up we'll stamp our lemons in Daffodil Delight. And we're going to stamp a full lemon and we're gonna stamp a lemon slice. And 
Now I have my lemon builder punch and my lemon lime twist cardstock here. We're gonna punch these leaves right out of the scrap of lemon lime twist and then we'll poke it at those leaves. Okay, make sure you got them the way that you want to adhere them to the card. And we'll get this little dot image here. It does not want to stick. Sometimes when your indexed stamps don't want to stick to the block, you can do some chapstick on the back of them, or you can use multi-purpose liquid glue. Either way works. Put the multi-purpose liquid glue on there. And when it dries, it becomes repositionable. And you can just make kind of a tacky back for your stamp. And stamp those leaves with the dots. Okay, let me clear away the ink pads and we'll get to assembling this card. Okay, now let's get the Simply Score tool in here and let's score up our card base and our little mechanism that lifts the gift card. So we've got the four and a quarter by 11 and we've got it in on the 11 inch side and we're gonna score this one at two and at seven and a half. Then we'll put in the lemon lime twist and we'll score this one on the seven inch side at one and three quarters and six and a half. Okay, let's punch out this lemon now. And we'll get this card assembled. I love this little lemon punch. Makes it super speedy. And what I forgot to tell you at the beginning is there is a layering circles die, and you'll need your layering circles for this project, that cuts out this lemon exactly. So let's get that little die right here. And see, cuts that slice perfect. So let's do some die cutting. We're going to cut that, and we're going to cut a flower from the Bloomin' Hearts. I got my big shot here and it's all set up for die cutting with the magnetic platform. And I got my circle and flower. Let's just crank those guys through. All right, so there's our little lemon slice. And let's get this little guy out of the die. I'm gonna use the paper piercer this time. Okay, so we'll just pop this little flower out of the die. And what I want to do is just between my thumb and my index finger, I want to roll some shape into those little petals. And there we go. Now, assembling this card, we need a bone folder and some tear and tape. Going to fold your lemon lime twist. So you've got a mountain fold on the small and a valley fold on the large, so it looks like a Z. And then we're going to fold the berry burst like a gate fold. So both score lines go in. We're going to put the tear and tape on this tab all the way across. And then we'll take about two inches of tear and tape here and we're going to cut it so that it's nice and narrow. So we've just made the quarter inch into eighth of an inch. Now the eighth of an inch little tear and tape goes along the very edge of the berry burst panel. So you're making a little pocket here on the short panel. I've removed the tear and tape from our tab and we're gonna glue that right to the top cover of our card. So where this fold is, we wanna center our lemon lime twist and then adhere it down at that fold line. Then we'll pull the release paper here on the sides of this pocket. And then we'll fold up to create that little mechanism. So there it is, there's your little gift card pocket. Next up, we need to get our decorative paper on the card base. So I've got my lemon lime twist fresh floral and I'm just gonna put a little snail, smaller piece across the bottom and a larger piece across the top. 
inside the card. Squeeze it for all it's worth with some snail adhesive. And we're going to take this lemon slice and cut it right in half. And here that with some snail inside the card. What a cutie. All right, now, outside the card, happy birthday gets adhered to our dapper denim. And then we're going to take some tear and tape and adhere this to our card. And you want to keep the tear and tape on the top two thirds of the square here. You're going to center that just above the fold centered right to left and adhere it down. All right, so let's finish up assembling this. I put a little bit of um, dimensional adhesive on this half of a lemon slice and we're going to take about, I've got about 19 inches of finely woven berry burst ribbon. Let's tie up a pretty bow on the bottom of this card and I want that all the way off to the left. Oop, let's not stick our lemon wedge. And there's our pretty bow. Okay, let me just trim the tails, make this pretty. Now, I'm going to take a little snail adhesive and I'm going to put it on the end of my lemon. And then I'm going to line up these little leaves on the end of the lemon here. Get them the way I like them. And then some more snail adhesive on my lemon. We'll add that to the card above happy birthday and that lemon slice that we added the dimensional adhesive to. Now the flower, we're going to add that to the card above happy with a little mini dimensional. And then to get a little bit more dapper denim in the picture here, we're going to add a little dapper denim glitter enamel to the flower. Okay, there it is, our fun happy birthday, squeeze it for all it's worth, gift card holder. If you've got any questions about this tutorial, if there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Oh, and by the way, buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com and sign up for my newsletter list. You could have had this tutorial delivered to your mailbox a long time ago. Kitchen Table Stamper subscribers get more. Alright guys, thanks for watching.